What's up everybody, this is Happy to Game here, and today in this video, I'll be going over a beginner's guide to Hun Wu. The first thing I want to bring up is that I've been noticing that many of you are not subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy these internal return build guide videos, please consider subscribing to the channel to get notified when I release a new guide. Well, enough of that, let's get to the guide. All right, so let's go over Hun Wu and his skills. So his Q is, is, is pretty much a uh, damage and slow, and his W is essentially a buff, defensive buff, and after that defensive uh, short period of time, that defensive buff, uh, he cannot be slowed or impaired in terms of movement speed, and then he has his E, which I think is absolutely crucial in his kit. Um, this is essentially a dash that knocks back an enemy in their in his path and if collided with a wall or collision uh, they are then stunned for a minute well not a minute literally but they will be stunned and then you have your ultimate which is called haymaker it's essentially uh i like to call this like the captain falcon punch where you get to like charge up um and the longer that you charge the more powerful this punch is and essentially, it's just a punch right in front of you uh, that is the ultimate. Your passive is essentially whenever you attack or get attacked, you receive stack. Um, and once you hit that maximum stack, your very next basic attack will restore your HP. And for this build, we're going to be covering the gloves, which then is your, your, your D, which is your weapon skill, is going to be the uppercut, which will increase your attack range slightly and uh deal additional damage now before i go into these the plan here i just want to thank everybody so far in these videos who have been giving me feedback on these guides and how to improve them uh so the very f one of these uh new feedback that some of you have given me is about providing the id so here's the quick id here uh 158239 so you can search for this id and it's in there now i want to just preface saying that this was not a build that i made this is a build that i've gone from uh, the search save plans and i was i essentially just cycled through a bunch of plans and this was in my opinion the best beginners plan to to start with if you're learning hanwu so let's talk about the items um I, i've called it this this the skill amp balance build um and i'll explain why i call it that uh, so these are going to be the gloves. It's going to be the blood wing knuckles. And I do apologize if I really butcher these names. Um, so I'm sorry for that in advance. Uh, the Imperial Bergenet, uh, which gives you defense, SP, movement speed, cooldown reduction, and skill amp. So a great overall headgear for this build. Uh, the, the blood wing knuckles here, attack, HP, move, and movement speed. Uh, commander's armor will be your chest gives you defense and skill amp as you can see so far most of these items are going to give you skill amp um the drupnir i'm probably pronouncing that wrong but you got the defense you get more sp hp regen and again skill amp uh, eod boots you got defense hp regen movement speed and then you have the laced quiver gives you attack power attack speed and movement speed so just overall giving you Skill amp obviously is kind of the theme, but then supplementing all the other items with a little bit of this and this and that, giving you a little bit of attack power, giving you defense, giving you a little bit of HP regen, giving you some max SP. So it's just kind of a very good balanced build. All right, so now let's go over the route or uh, path thing that you're going to go here. So you're going to start off in pond. You're going to start off, and then you're going to go to the cemetery, um, and I'll kind of show you your different ways that you can go into cemetery whether it's you know you you teleport using the avenue uh hyperloop or you just walk through hospital and go to cemetery um and then there's the hospital as your third zone and then archery range to finish off your uh, eod boots all right so now let's get into some gameplay most of this footage is in squads or duos i have played this in solos and i've been very successful with this as well um so yeah so you start off in Pond, and obviously just like every other build, you want to grab all of the items that are in this area for your build. Now, most importantly, you're going to want to grab um, the 
gemstone and the pickaxes because those are the most uh, quantity out of all the items. So you'll obviously you want to grab everything, but uh, because you start in pawn first, you'll be taking quite a bit of the gemstones out of the map. So um, just kind of a FYI that if you do have teammates that do need gemstones, uh, you might want to tell them to look elsewhere because you'll be taking quite a bit of it out of pond. Now, when you're in pond and you see this little area here where there's fishing and water, it's best to just go and grab and collect some of these uh, because uh, Hanwu early game, you're going to run out of uh, SP really quickly. Um, and then for the carp, you can just create uh, carp bread really easily by just fishing some of these carp and it's going to be better than just your your regular bread now what you're going to notice is you know because we are kind of um swinging up this way uh to to do our path here um you know we're going to grab these two loot things you're going to want to if you still are missing materials so right now currently you know we're just missing a gemstone there are still some more uh, things to loot here. If I don't pick up my last gemstone, I will go into Avenue and then loop back into Pond. Uh, so I already got all my items here, so that's great. But if I didn't, um, I would have looped back. And do you see where the ping right now is on the mini map? I would have looped into Avenue and looped back down that little highway bridge thing and then go into Cemetery from there. But because I was able to grab everything, I'm going to quickly take this uh, hyperloop and then just teleport into cemetery. Once you hit cemetery, again, you want to get your knuckles. You want to get out to say everything that's on this list, but you want to try and find your knuckles eight. as soon as possible. Grab ice and garlic. Uh, garlic, not so important um, just because you've already used up your bread, most likely to get your uh, carp bread. Uh, but ice cubes for sure to make ice water to kind of uh, give you better SP regen. Um, and, you know, here, you know, you see that I have, I found my knuckles, which is going to be great. And then once you finish looting cemetery here, you should see quite a big power spike. Um, especially if you, like the second that you finish your, your purple weapon, your final weapon, you're going to want to fight all of the animals that you see on your way to the hospital another really good uh beverage to pick up is coffee it's also better than just your regular water so um it it is in my opinion more worth it to to get the coffee because it, it just regens your sp a lot better and just keep in mind like i said your sp will um uh, you will lose sp a lot early game with hunwu so making sure that you're constantly uh drinking uh, your your beverages is a huge tip here. And when you're confident that your area is quite safe, do not hesitate to use your E to kind of dash uh, to get to areas quicker. Also a, ni a nice little quick tip to kind of move around the map a lot quicker. Uh, in terms of leveling, I level up my E first, Q, and then W. So I get uh, all three, at least one level in each, in each skill. And then after that, I'm focusing on leveling uh, my Q. Uh, and that's kind of like my main damage dealer. So I'm still looking for my feather and my steel chain, uh, but you know every single animal that I'm uh, that I'm coming across, I'm killing them because uh, there is a chance that they will drop uh, le leather and wolves guarantee leather, which is huge because this will allow you to finish uh, a bunch of your final items. And because you can finish a bunch of your final items, it's going to give you another huge uh, power spike. So again, you know, found found my leather. Now I'm able to craft my finished helmet. And I believe this last little box here at the very top luckily had the chain inside it and the feather actually. Wow, that's, that's awesome. And um, I was able to finish like a lot of my build here which now because i have so many of my items built and only within two zones i'm not afraid to engage on on anybody really so now that's done i'm gonna move uh on to typically i would move on to the hospital uh but because the um i have so much of my built done already i decide to kind of 
gather up with my teammates uh, in case they were in trouble and to help them finish off their build. But typically I would go over to hospital and I'd be able to finish off uh, my arm and my accessory. And then the last thing that I would need to do is go into the, um, the archery range to finish off my uh, EOD boots. All right, so let's talk about combat. So like I said before earlier on, your E is so important. So if you see here, I'm trying to position myself so that I'm able to try and E and dash them and push them into a wall to stun them. And obviously uh, I missed there, but that was kind of the intent there was I tried to go and angle myself, me, uh, the, uh, the enemy and myself so that I have a good chance of uh, hitting them into a wall. And then I'm using my Q to do a lot of my, my damage, right? Um, I didn't have the opportunity here in this clip to use my ultimate, but that is obviously the the ultimate damage dealer if you can fully charge up your ultimate. In this clip, you're going to notice that I'm going to try and take advantage of a character that is uh, trying to use the Hyperloop. And again, focus is angling myself first to make sure that I hit that stun, go in, press my Q, um, here I even use my W to make sure that I'm buffed up, that I have my defense uh, abilities. And again, moving in and out, trying, I missed there, but I tried to also angle, angle myself again. But you're constantly trying to use your Q whenever that pops. Um, I'm not doing a very efficient job here, but I should be using my D um, whenever I can as well. All right, so in this clip here, this is a much better example of how to utilize your, your kit. So here, I'm gonna slam him right into the wall, stun him, Q him, auto attack, hit, and hit him. Um, so that was like the perfect execution in terms of uh, dash stun and then slowing with your Q. And then you can see up here when I uh, re-engage another, uh, another enemy here, it's the same thing. They're by the wall. I'm going to um, dash stun them and then uh, with the E, Q them, uh, use my, my W for the buff, for defensive buff. When the Q uh, cooldown is down, use it again. Uh, so that's kind of like the perfect execution of using Hanwoo's kit. So yeah, hopefully that video helps you out. If it does, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps a lot. Leave a like. I really do take feedback seriously, especially if it's done constructively. Thank you so much. See you all next time. Bye now.